On this episode, we're talking to St. Louis vlogger and comic book creator David Gordon. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? And we're talking art, and we're going to talk a little social media as well. That's what's up. Let's do it. Hello everyone, welcome to the Bob Wall Show. Today we are talking with David Gordon. Uh, David. Yes sir. Thank you for coming on. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> um, you are a artist. Yes sir. You take a lot of pride in your art and you're also a vlogger. Um, let's start off talking about uh, the art side of things. How'd you get into um, comic book and cartoon sketches or cartooning or However long, way you call line. the sketching and <laughs> art that you're doing. So, well, well Bob, it's a long story. It was a long and stormy night. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm an old man. No, I'm no, this joke. But uh, actually, kind of, I really am a kind of old man. Because um, when we got started, when I got started, we didn't, um, I was a kid and uh, my parents got the encyclopedia, the encyclopedia, um, World Book Encyclopedias, that's what it was. Okay. So we get the World Book Encyclopedias, and I'm going through it as a little kid because I didn't know any better, and I'm like two, three, who cares? Um, stumble upon this section, and it's all about uh, drawing, making your own comic strip. And I'm like, I can do that. And from there, I started drawing and, and learning how to tell stories. So let's fast forward to the high school years, get into comic books like X-Men, Avengers, all that good stuff, before it was actually popular in the movies when kids were like, he has a comic book, he's a nerd. <laughs> so this was the eighties. Right. So we're into those types of things, you know, watching movies, seeing Star Wars, Indiana Jones, those types of things. So I'm like, I want to tell these types of stories. And I begin to learn the art of storytelling as a comic book artist. And of course, go to college, go off to college, learn more and more, perfecting my craft. I began to get little jobs here and there. Um, start a start a uh, actually in college when I was going to uh, Florida Valley started an African American Art Association in which I became the first president of this club and we we began starting correlating with a lot of different artists started learning a lot um, ended up forming another collective an airbrush collective uh, called Air Assault um, and we were actually doing comics and airbrushing out of the old River Rose Mall of all the places. Okay. And um, then from there we formed another company called Mach 1 which was dedicated to graphic design and comic books. And along the way we're putting out local comics, we're putting out, we're getting little jobs within the industry, you know, a pin up here, something there. Um, that all spirals, spirals. Eventually I leave for a while, end up in Atlanta, uh, get to be a uh, get to meet um, some of the greats in the industry, uh, Dexter Vines, uh, get to get a few mentoring lessons from the great Brian Stelfries, uh, who's doing the Black Panther comic right now, and uh, come back to St. Louis as a uh, member of a comic book company called Lion Forge, write several books, uh, Rampage Jackson, Quinn Credible, Airwolf, Trimax, um, I'm forgetting something, but um, that, was, that was it, do some covers. And at that point, I'm kind of cemented in the industry now. And um, from there, uh, I've got my own creator, own projects, uh, Misadventures of Kwame Hightower and Quantum University coming soon. <laughs> and, uh, and that's pretty much it. Well, that's great. You just, I didn't give you the list of questions, but you just rolled right through it. So <laughs> that concludes the Bob. No, I'm joking. We still got a lot to do. Um, uh, what type of sketches and drawings do you enjoy doing the most? Oh man, I love people. I love drawing people. Okay. If you know this, um, that's what I gravitate towards. I love drawing okay. people. I love drawing faces. Okay. Just, just enjoy, really enjoy just the quirks of uh, drawing people more than anything else. Okay. So. Cool. Um, who's your, uh, you probably have a lot of people that have influenced your work or people that you followed, artists you followed throughout mm -hmm. your life. Um, yes, who's sir. your favorite? Oh boy, <laughs> favorite, good grief. That's tough. Do I have to cut it down to one? <laughs> you don't have to cut it down to one. Maybe you're your top, if you don't uh, want the pressure. Top five. Around, but oh, okay, let me just, see. Uh, you know, you can name a few. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So, 
artists that really have had a, a, a big, big influence on me. Uh, well, I have to go with um, one of the great uh, Marvel artists, uh, John Buscema. He was really a great, great influence on me. Um, Supposed to artists from the 80s and 90s. Drew Struzan, love his work. Um, current Marvel artist, uh, Joe Madureira. Um, it's a Japanese artist, Kenichi Sonata. Really, really love his work. Um, it's so many people. <laughs> um, but um, also uh, uh, another artist that's really, really doing a lot of great stuff, work right now, Stuart Iman, and, um and I know I haven't said his name. I know I didn't nail it, but it's okay. He knows how we got love for him. So, right. yeah, the, I'll keep it at that five right there. All right. Well, great. Uh, do you have a um, – I saw one of your vlogs. You have some sort of new project business venture you're um, working on. Was it this last one? It was recently. Okay. I just didn't know if you wanted to – Talk about that oh, yeah, a little no, bit. No, okay. no, everything's okay. open. It's open yeah. season. Uh, <laughs> one of the uh, one of the uh, ventures that we are starting up is called Let's Go Gaming. Uh, okay. Let's Go Gaming. We're actually going to be getting into mobile handheld games on okay. the phone. Okay. And we're uh, working on a couple. We're working on a couple games right now, um, cool. getting designs out. So, um, one of the lead designers, and um, that'll be coming soon. We're still in the developing stages. Uh, but there will be more announcements moving forward. Okay. Personal project wise, like I said, I've got Quantum University, and that'll be hitting YouTube probably later this year, hopefully. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, good segue into my next one. You do have a couple shows. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have you, t and that's actually how we met you. I, I, I was a hashtag on Twitter and ran across. One of your posts, and it had one year at link to one of your episodes, and mm -hmm. um, I watched a few. Really good. You seem uh, to be gaining a lot of traction. You kind of begin, kind of, somewhat in the. You've probably been doing a little bit longer than me, but somewhat in the same time frame that you've been, uh, that I've been doing. You seem to be doing it, but I guess I'll just have you talk about um, your online shows, your YouTube shows that you have. Okay. Well, yeah, on my YouTube channel, uh, basically, if you go to DKG seventy two, that's my YouTube. Uh, channel. Uh, I have two shows. Uh, one is my vlog, which is called My Creative Life, and uh, basically that's like a slice of life. Uh, it shows some of my earth, my day to day, as well as what projects I'm working on, and it's really uh, just me documenting uh, some of the things that are going on, especially from from being an artist living in St. Louis. So right. there, there's that, and then I have Drawing with DKG72, which is basically a speed drawing art tutorial series okay. in which we're drawing everything from superheroes to Pokemon to, to, <laughs> to famous people and famous faces. So we cover a wide gamut, but it also um, allows me to provide something that I'm really into, which is uh, teaching people uh, art techniques, how to, you know, sketching, showing them different uh, different sketch ideas, you know, just different ways to approach different subjects. So, um, that, you know, those are my two shows right now, and they're, they're doing cool. pretty good. That's awesome. That's awesome. I've, I've, like I said, I've caught them really good in my creative life. I really like that. It's a good, um, more personal look into what you're doing art-wise. Um, uh, really good. One thing I like, I could tell by talking to you that you're – this is it. You're. I, I feel like in a year when when I'm talking to you, you're still going to be doing the show. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Your head's there. I can tell. You're you're in it, and this is what the plan is. So. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. Plus, it gives me a great vehicle to torment my nephew. So, <laughs> I mean, you can't lose. You really. Anytime can't. you can get it on video. There you go, awesome. and it's so. awesome. <laughs> it is the best thing ever. Uh, what What inspired you to start doing the shows? What was the um, What was I don't know if you can want to call it an event, um, but what you know, what was uh, what what was it that ultimately made you decide this is what I'm doing? Ultimately, I have been interested in YouTube f for the better part of at least two years, and and okay. I was asking um, my good friend DJ Hijack. Um, I was actually asking, like poking around, asking questions, and then um, basically I had an opportunity in which I. I I had more time available to me. Okay. And I was like, well, let's plan out and figure out what we're going to do. 
we and we launched with a drawing with DKG seventy two. It didn't even have a name at first. We just right. yep. we just did it. That's and you just start. You just load up That's, and you do it. Starting's the hard part. The name <laughs> the naming you can come up with. Right. So, so right. we come we, we 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 get the name about six episodes in and everything. <laughs> it's it, it's crazy. But yeah. Yeah. um when I decided to do the vlog, that was a little bit more of a a harder decision because Again, I've been watching individual vloggers, and I've been right. seeing how it was done. And again, a lot of talking, a lot of planning went into place, right? Because that's that's it's a little bit intrusive, bringing you know, and and you're bringing cameras around to right. to, to places that people are like, "What is that? Right. Why, why is it on a tripod? What are you doing?" Right. So you have to kind of prepare yourself and prepare people around you to hey. I'm about to do this, and it's not going to stop. It's going to be a continual thing. Right. And now I think I've gotten gotten at least the media family used to it. I'm still getting kind of the my surroundings used to it. Cause right. It's amazing how many people you'll see, and you'll you'll be out there talking to the camera or something like that, and they're looking and like, "Is he crazy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? Uh, what What do you like most about doing the episodes? The actual creation of the episodes, the actual, um, the actual filming, the lead up to it. Yeah. Um, the finished product is always cool to look at. Right. Just to see how, but, but actually figuring out, okay, well, this is a good time. Oh, shoot, I need to get that shot right there. Right. I need to go for this. I got, uh, let's do this. Let's do that. And just trying different things as far as, and then I'm, I'm a process guy. Right. Even when it comes to my comic books, mm -hmm. it's always the process leading up to the finished product that I get the most gratification out of. So the creation, the filming, the figuring out, the, the sometimes you're thinking ahead, sometimes it's spontaneous, those types of things. That's what I'm really about. Uh, and as far as your goal with your show, um, I guess do you have one? What's your goal with, as far as... Well, Bob, I do have a goal. <laughs> World domination. No, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Playing, guys, I'm playing. Um, well, I do have uh, two creator-owned projects. Um, like I said, I've got Quantum University, and I have uh, Misadventures of Kwame Hightower. And actually, I have a couple other projects that I'm still, that are still in development. Mm -hmm. And as far as they, they're just not fully formed yet. But one of my main intentions, one of my main intentions was to use... Uh, my vlogs, my, my shows, as a, a vehicle to put eyes onto my uh, intellectual property so that people can see what, I, what I'm creating. They can be there at the ground floor because our thought process and my thought process, again, is like, hey, what if they had cameras the day that Stan Lee sat down with Steve Ditko and said, I've, you know, I've got this idea. It's for this guy. We're going to call him Spider-Man. So that Steve Ditko could look at him and say, well, that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and he's like, well, you work for me, so you got to draw it. So, but what if the cameras were there so you can actually be at the ground floor of, of the creation of something special? So that's one goal. Um, as an artist, another goal is that it does showcase my abilities and things that I can do. So potential clients, potential customers. And just fandom in, in general, people can say, "Hey, I, I saw this. I saw you know, I saw what you're doing. I love mm -hmm. your art. I love your show. You know, you want to kind of build that 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 you want to build your name, and that's very important because well, you know, companies are lazy now. They don't do that anymore. Right? <laughs> they right. don't. They, you know, they're like, why should I invest? You have the internet. You do it yourself. Right. So I have to. You have to build your name yourself. Right. Uh, well, cool. Well. Um uh, I guess we'll we'll we're kind of wrapping it up. Um, where can people find your um, find your show? I think it's on Facebook and YouTube, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go to my Facebook fan page, which is David Gordon seventy two, definitely find me there. Uh, also, YouTube DKG seventy two. Um, these all my shows are there. Uh, if you want to get involved with me on social medias. Um, definitely I'm on Instagram at DKG72 Twitter and Twitter for some reason is really big for me so mm -hmm. that's at DKG72 right. oh hit my Snapchat up too DKG72 notice a thing notice a thing <laughs> so um, 
almost anything I do is going to be under some form of DKG72, except for, like I said, Facebook, which is David Gordon72. Um, I also have fan pages for Quantum University and for Misadventures of Qu Kwame Hightower, if you guys want to follow those as well. But, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much all my outlets right now. That's awesome. That's awesome, Ian. We'll end on announcing uh, I have something pretty exciting going on. Um, uh, as a lot of you know, I'm starting a second show. Um, we're going to keep doing the Bob Wall Show once a week. Mm -hmm. That's going to stay on, on, on as planned, and um, I'm adding an additional show called the Community Spotlight, and um, David has committed to coming on every month and doing a celebrity sketch of the month, and uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, it is. Uh, I, can, I look forward uh, <laughs> to uh, bringing the next celebrity, the next hot celebrity to you, and they're going to be local celebrities from St. Louis, so we're going to show love to the hometown and, and really uh, do that up big. That's awesome. That's going to be a lot of fun, so we're going to highlight a local celebrity every month. Uh, tell a little bit about their story, and uh, it's going to be a cool episode. I'm, I'm really excited about it, so I so think it's going to be really good. So, um, well, everyone, David, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me on, sir. Absolutely. Um, thanks, everyone. For That concludes the episode of The Bob Wall Show. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you like this episode, please like, comment, share. That is the lifeblood of the show, as you know. So um, thanks, everyone, for joining us, and goodbye for now. See you next week. Talk to y'all later.